What's up guys, Pyrostasis here, and I wanted to show you guys one of the... I, I think it's one of the most critical things to do in Skyrim, because there are a lot of bugs, there are a lot of issues, and you do have a tendency to completely screw yourself if you're not paying attention, or if, you know, the game breaks, or something along those lines. And now this is a guide for the PC version, I don't have a PlayStation 3 version or Xbox version, so I can't test those. They may or may not have similar settings, uh, but for the PC version, what you want to do is you want to pull up the system uh, information by hitting escape and you want to go to settings and in settings you want to go under gameplay and then basically the settings you want to alter are these right here you want to save on rest save on wait save on travel and you want to reduce this by default it's 15 minutes i believe you want to reduce that to five minutes so this way basically anytime you pull up the tab menu it saves anytime you zone it saves you know, anytime anything happens, uh, pretty much it saves. Follow this up with auto saving fairly frequently, and anytime something bad happens, you can usually reset it very easy. Now, if you go to your actual saves, as you'll notice, it's saved right there. We've got three auto saves, one quick save, and then your normal saves here. I would strongly recommend, you, know, you can only have one quick save. So I use quick save anytime I'm going to do something, like I usually do it when I right before I talk to an NPC for a main quest line. Um, as I'm progressing through a dungeon, I'll use it periodically as I get to a save spot, etc., etc. The auto save save pretty much on their own periodically. And as you can see, I've got all of these here, and they're not too terribly far apart. But all of those would be a different part of the quest previous to this one, which was the... Uh, the quest where I sold the girl out. Um, then you can also make an actual physical save. So I, I usually do those periodically um, when I'm going to enter, you know, the next big transition. Like if I'm going to join the thieves guild, I'll do a big save. Or you know, if I'm going to join the companions, I'll do a big save. You know, you want to do those periodically, and that's kind of like your anchor. You know, when you absolutely know your current save is rock solid. You save that there, that way you can fall back on that at a later point in time. Uh, because, you know, things happen. Quests bug out, NPCs screw up. Um, now, one counter argument to this here, uh, the, the problem with the way I have this set up is it is quite possible with saves this frequent for there to be a mess up. So there's, if you're good with using the auto saves, you know, you might want to bump this up to, you know, an hour or so, or even even further. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. Um, but you, you just want to be careful with how often it saves, because you don't, you know, if you make a lot of really quick decisions sometimes, those saves can, you can get your three saves after you've already broken the game. So it just kind of depends on where you want to be and how you want to go about doing it. But this is a great way to make sure that you have at least multiple saves and multiple revisions. So if something screws up or you accidentally, like if you're fighting a dragon and you accidentally attack the town's people, it's always a good idea to have that save to fall back on. So anyways, I hope this helped. If it did, please click that like button. That really helps me out a lot and lets me know that you like the content I'm producing. Also click that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I will catch you guys in another clip.